everyone, I'm Margot James, Executive Chair of WMG at the University of Warwick. It's an absolute pleasure to be introducing this session at the Very Light Rail Conference this morning. WMG is all about taking the best of research and technology innovation and applying it to real world challenges. Whether that's in materials, electrification, digitization or automation, our researchers work with businesses to find answers to real world challenges that are practical and deliverable. That is why VLR is such an exciting opportunity for us. VLR gives us a chance to bring together our expertise in these different fields and work with innovative businesses and local government to develop an entirely new concept in light rail. On that note, I would like to pay a special tribute to our partners on this journey. It's your commitment, determination, passion and drive that is enabling us to make VLR a reality. Our innovative business partners in the Revolution VLR Consortium, fellow members of the High Value Manufacturing Catapult, Coventry City Council and Dudley MBC, who saw the potential of this concept, backed it and asked WMG and the BCIMO to deliver it. Thank you. If we are to develop the low carbon mobility that is so essential for our future, we have to find affordable ways to deliver mass public transport systems and affordability is key. Existing light rail schemes are coming in at well over 25 million pounds per kilometer, sometimes up to 100 million. These sort of numbers would confine the technology to niche at best, way beyond the budgets of cities and towns in the UK and beyond. Coventry City Council commissioned us to deliver very light rail at a fraction of that cost while cutting emissions dramatically. In this session, we'll be talking about how we and our partners are finding innovative ways to pass that test. Developing a zero carbon lightweight shuttle and using innovative materials and design to create a track form that sits just 30 centimetres below road surfaces. And I think you'll find the ideas in this session inspiring, whether it's taking lessons from automotive and applying them to the design of rail vehicles, or the challenges involved in making a track form shallow enough to avoid having to divert existing utilities. The prize before us is nothing less than the development of a new type of low cost, low carbon mass transit. I'm hugely proud that this project is firmly rooted in our region, which has been associated with so much innovation in transport over the years. But of course, this technology is huge potential to benefit communities in towns and cities across the UK and around the world. At home, cities like Bradford, who lost their trams after the Second World War and are unlikely to be able to make a traditional light rail system economical. Or further afield in India, where there are 200 cities with a population of between 150,000 and half a million. How can these fast growing communities develop affordable, sustainable public transport? VLR will open up entirely new markets for a transport innovation developed right here in the West Midlands. We've done it before. After all, the first train ever to operate in America was the Stourbridge Lion, built here in the Black Country in my old constituency almost 200 years ago. So in other words, VLR offers a way to develop a whole new mobility industry. And that's why at WMG, we are so excited to be a crucial part of this endeavor and are so keen to be working together with our partners to make sure VLR transforms the way people travel in an affordable and sustainable way. Thank you.